Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lindsay. If we have not met before, nice to meet you. If you're coming back for another video, thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, I wanted to show you what is in my bag. So it is like mid, almost to the end of January right now. And I have been carrying this gorgeous Kate Spade bag. And I generally, around this time of year, as we get closer to February, I like to swap out for a little bit of a brighter, um, just sweeter looking bag, like something that looks Valentine's-y. And I will wear that bag through the spring. And so I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out today. It's a little early, but I've been carrying this black bag for a few months now. So first, I'm gonna just tell you a little bit about this black bag. If you've watched any of my other handbag videos, you have seen it already. I do not know what this bag is called. I got it from the Kate Spade store um, a couple of years ago after seeing somebody walking around with it in the mall a few times. So this is what she looks like. She's just really clean looking. Um, very sleek, very easy to carry. She has this gorgeous little strap with these pretty gold hardware pieces. This is the only closure. And then this long strap. And I normally carry it by the long strap like this. So I'm just gonna go through it. I'm gonna show you guys what all is in here and then I'll show you the bag that I'm putting everything into. So we're gonna just go through all of the things that are in here and then I will show you the bag that I'm going to put the things into and we'll just go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna grab out is probably the biggest thing and that is my wallet. This is a Michael Kors wallet. I bought it when I bought a bag that matches it, but this has been my favorite since I bought it. I love the color. I love just everything about it. It's got really pretty gold hardware, a nice little wrist strap, and it's plenty big. If you open it up, I've got Buku cards and things like that. I've got a couple of notes and some change. It's got a great little zipper compartment in there. I really love this wallet and I don't plan on changing it out anytime soon. Uh, let's see. The next thing I have is a sheet of paper. This is a receipt for some medical procedure. So I'm not going to show you that. I actually need to keep this because I need to scan it into I'm um, a like a medical card like insurance, but not um, like a healthcare spending account. I need to scan this into that. Then I have a little container with business cards. Um, I keep it in this just gum container. It's the perfect size and I really enjoy just using that for this. I have a girlish product. I have a lotion. I have no idea where this came from, like where it's purchased. Um, I got it when I got my nails done at a salon. It's Candy Wishes Hand and Body Moisturizer. It's not the best, but this is nice to just have in your handbag. And it smells really good. It smells like super sweet, like sweet tarts or something like that. So I have that. I have a Aquaphor. So you guys know I just got this tattoo. Um, Aquaphor is a really great product to put on your tattoo as it's starting to heal. But this is also like a really great product in the winter to put on your lips or your knuckles or your like cuticles. Um, it's just a really good protectant and I like to keep this in my bag. I have got a set of keys to my friend's house. I've shown you that before probably a million times. I've got a handful of these little itty bitty like rubber bands. I like to put my hair like in a little half bun, but these things, they snap <laughs> really easily. I'll just be like in a meeting and my hair thing will snap. I should probably get something bigger, but I like that these are clear. So um, I just carry extras of these. I cleaned out a drawer, a junk drawer last week and I was supposed to throw this into my bag and just give it away to somebody who doesn't have like a pop socket. So I'm gonna keep this in here and I need to 
take that action and do it. All that's left, I think, is, yeah, all that's left is this bag. And so this is where I should be storing all of, like, bits and pieces and makeup and, um, like, just odds and ends. So I'm going to open this up. I got this from Target recently, um, probably, probably, like, a month ago. And it's the perfect size. I really like it. And it's super, like, durable. And it was cheap. It was, like, $5.00. So I don't really care if it gets all like jacked up or whatever. So this is what the inside looks like. So I'm just going to start whoop, going through this. Um, so the first thing is from Grove Collaborative. This is a hand sanitizer. You're supposed to like shake it and then spray it. And it smells so good. It smells like a, uh, like oranges and citrus. And I like this because it is a, um, it's a hand sanitizer spray but it has moisturizing coconut oil in it and so when you like put it on your hands don't feel dry like they feel like soft and then the smell of course is just to die for I love the smell of this stuff I have this little um mattifying powder palette it's by wet n wild I've probably only used this like once it doesn't even look used but I like to have this um because well, sometimes we get shiny, right? And this is just really good to have. To go along with that, I just have a little like mini brush. This is by Eco Tools, and these two are really nice to have together. I don't use it a lot, but um, if I were to need to leave work and go somewhere, then this would be perfect to have with me. Up next, I have a secret deodorant. I cannot tell you how many times I have left the house to go somewhere and forgot to put on deodorant. And it's bad if it's like work. Um, so I always need to have one of these in my bag. I have got some contact solution. Uh, this is not like my preferred brand. This is Blink Revitalins. I usually like the one that's in a clear bottle, but I tend to get like the Target brand of it. But this is just fine to have in my purse in case I need it. Okay, y'all, this is something serious. I have poopery. You will never catch me without poopery in my handbag. Never ever. Because I have had so many instances of needing to go number two and being so embarrassed because of its toxic nature. Like I, I the, this, I have to have this. I don't care, I have to have this. I've got some eye drops because my eyes get dry. I've got a, you guys probably have seen this too many times. Like if you've watched any of my other handbag videos, then you would probably tell me it's time to retire this. I don't use it. I don't know why it's in my bag, but I do love the smell of it. This is the Hello by Harvey Prince, a little mini spray. I got this in a BoxyCharm like four years ago. I still have this much left i would purchase a full size of this i think it smells great i like this i have got a elf eyebrow pencil because i don't know about you guys but my eyebrows are the first to go when my makeup is starting to like fade throughout the day and so if i need to go somewhere after work i need to have an eyebrow pencil I don't always use an eyebrow pencil to do my eyebrows initially, but this is the easiest way to touch them up when I have somewhere to be. I've got a lip gloss. This is by e.l.f. and they have just recently come out with different shades of this type of lip gloss. This is a lip plumping gloss. It reminds me a lot of like the ones by Buxom um, or the other brand that's at Target that sells lip plumping glosses. Um, Soap and Glory. It reminds me a lot of the Soap and Glory lip glosses, um, but this was $5 and I actually really, really like it. I would buy this again and I have bought it again. I think I have another shade. I do. So I have this more like brownish pink and then I have like a true pink. I like them. These are, um, so this is Mocha Twist and this one has already come off, but they are just hanging out in your elf section at your local Target and I would totally recommend. I have a lipstick. This is by Ramel. It is in Heather Shimmer. I hardly ever wear this, but it is pretty. Um, I would recommend. I have a lip pencil. Like, you guys, how often do you see me with lipstick on? Like, never. I don't know why I have all of this in here. 
but I do. I have a lip pencil by NARS and I'm pretty sure this was a birthday gift several years ago and I still have it. This is, I don't know. It's cute though. It looks good on me. I just don't ever put anything on my lips. I have got another hand sanitizer. This one's by Bath and Body Works. I've had this one. I had it before I got this one. I keep them both in here. I don't know why. I've got an eyeliner pencil, just a plain black eyeliner pencil. You will probably never see me like on a daily with this on, but like, again, if I need to touch up my makeup after work to go somewhere, then I can use this to kind of make myself look normal again. So I use that. I've got two pairs of contacts. If you wonder, I wear the brand uh, Vera Vitality. I wear a negative 650, which basically means that I can't see you without them at all. Can't even tell who you are. Contacts, I need to have them. I have got this little Burt's Bees cough drop. This one's in honey. I don't know if I'll ever use that. I've got a mascara, again, for touch-ups. This one's by Wet n Wild, it's the Mega Plump. I don't like it, which is why it is in here. It is not like my daily mascara. I have got a charger. This phone charger with this little thing has saved my life so many times. I love this thing. I have actually had this for over five years. It is still killing it, but you cannot get this one anymore. I have looked to try to find a replacement and it does not exist, but I can literally get four charges off of this thing. And I love it. I hate that it's green. I hate that I can't get another one. I'm gonna hang on to this one forever. It also has a flashlight, handy. And it's charged and it keeps charged. Like, like I haven't used it in weeks, months maybe, and it's still fully charged. So that's awesome. I have got two crystal light with caffeine packets. So I don't know if you guys have tried this. This one's in grape, um, but this has got a lot of caffeine in it. It's really good to have if I have an afternoon slump um, and I just need a pick-me-up, but I don't want to spend the calories on it. If you watch my videos, you know I am very calorie conscious and I don't have time to run to Starbucks and get a drink full of calories when I can have this in my water. Also, side note, if you wanna go out drinking and you are watching your calories, a really good drink is to do this with club soda and flavored vodka. So like I would get like a um like a Tito's vodka with club and then I would put half of this packet in there, stir it up, maybe put a little bit of lime, and you've got a mixed drink and it's delicious. So I would totally recommend you having this on hand. It'll keep you from like doing things you'll regret later. Like that would be maybe a hundred calories to have that drink, club soda zero vodka's like 60 or something like that this is zero like it's a no-brainer I would totally rather have this on a um, time when I'm going out to drink and it's not really a special occasion or I'm not really wanting something specific than wasting the calories on like a margarita which would blow my day I've got one additional contact and the last thing is some nail clippers because you never know when you need nail clippers. There's nothing worse than needing to clip not only your nails, but to get a tag off of your clothing that you forgot to clip off um, because your shirt is new. I've done that a lot. Um, you never know, like you got a string hanging on your clothes or your handbag or something like that. These are just really handy to have. So I totally recommend you keeping a pair of these in your bag like me. And so this bag is now empty. Um, and this bag is now empty and you can see the inside of it now. And what I really like about this bag, it is so lightweight. Like it's so lightweight, it is unlined, it's easy to carry. I love it, I recommend it if you can find it. I don't know where you'll find it, but it's a good bag. All right, so let me show you the bag that I'm changing to. And you've seen this bag before, it's nothing new. Um, I can't find it online anymore. First, I'll show you how to, how I store it. It is in this pillowcase, this white pillowcase that just keeps the dust off of it because I don't have a dust bag for this bag or the dust bag is with another bag 
and this fits into here. Um, so I like to keep a dust bag on it to keep it dust free. And so also if it's next to something like jeans in the closet or like another bag, it doesn't wear off on this because this does have a light section. So here she is. Again, you have seen this bag before if you've watched any of my like handbag videos. Um, it is a Kate Spade. I love the colors. I love everything about it. It's super structured. I like the feet on it. I'm a bag snob. I really like feet on my bag. Um, it is a little heavier than the other bag. On the inside, I've just got some paper to keep it shape. Um, and this is what the inside looks like. So, um, yeah, I really like this bag. I like it a lot. So I'm just gonna reload this guy. This having this loaded with all my stuff makes it so easy to find things, but also really easy to change bags. So I'm just gonna put all my tchotchkes back in here and then I'll put it into the bag. So I guess I could show you that, huh? And I don't put things in here any type of way. I just Throw them in there. It's going to get messed up anyways. There's no, like, compartments. Just throw it in there. Throw it in the bag. What's that song? That's a song. Put it in the bag. Throw it in the bag. Something like that. I just heard a small child. All right. Oh, contacts. So all my stuff is in here. All right, so everything fit except my charger, and I'm fine with that hanging out in my bag. So I'm just going to drop this in, my charger, put the charger in like a little compartment. I'm going to put my lady product away, put my friend's key away, and the little hair ties, and my cards. No, Jax. My cat's trying to eat my bag. Put this little paper away. Hey, that was mean. I'm gonna put my wallet in. That's it, everything's in. So this is what it looks like. When it's full, you can't even tell a difference, right? And then I have a section right up here, and this is where I like to keep my car keys and my phone when I carry it, so. All right, here she is. All right, that's it, I'm all done. I hope you like this video. I'm just gonna stuff this bag and put it away in the um, in the pillowcase like I had this one. My cat's trying to eat stuff. All right guys, so that is it for my video. I really appreciate you stopping by, watching it, looking and seeing what's in my bag and changing the bag with me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, subscribe. I will see you guys later. Bye.